Welcome, I'm Joan Worley and this is the TV Stretch and Flex class. Today I'd like to cover the three areas of fitness that we should incorporate every week in our lives. First is stretching, which we're doing here, and the other two would be weight training and also aerobic activity. So let's think about it as we go through our program, we're stretching, but we also have to add two more elements to make ourselves healthy and viable. I'd like to thank Kathy and Maritza for coming and helping us today. All right, let's take a seat and get comfortable. We're gonna do some breathing just to focus in, relax us. You can put your hands on your knees, or for those that like to, you can put your hands on your belly so you can see your belly go out, feel it out, and bring it back in. Deep breath in, exhale, tuck your belly in. Breathe out and exhale. Now you want to go nice and slow, close your eyes, focus in on your breath, let go of all the tension and stress that you're carrying. Nice and slow, take your time. Everybody's going to have a different length of breath in and out. It's okay. Make sure the shoulders are relaxed. You turn your head, wiggle your shoulders as you're breathing. Focus in and out. In and out. Slowly take your hands to your knees if they're not there. And what we're going to do is continue our breath. We're going to stretch forward with our chest as we take a deep breath in. And breathe in, lean forward, stretching the back, stretching the hips. And exhale, tuck your belly in, round your back, shoulders stay over your hips. Take your time, remember it's the quality, not how fast you do it. Just gonna warm up, that's it. Now if you find it's too hard to start stretching um, because you're stiff, maybe 20 minutes before the class, you might wanna get up and do a nice brisk walk, get the blood flowing, it'll be easier to stretch. And if you work that into three times a week for 30 minutes, get your heart rate elevated, you can call that aerobic, and that will be a second part of your fitness weekly. That's it, good. Continue to stretch, maybe get a little bit farther each time. Focus in on what you're doing. Nice. Let's do one more complete one. When you're done, just come back to this neutral position. Wait for everybody to finish. Breathing in, deep breath in. And exhale, great. Okay, good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the back arm lift. We're gonna turn sideways so it's easier for you to see what we're doing. You're going to take your hands behind your back. Now for some of you, you might not even be able to get your hands touching. That's okay. It's the first step. Sometimes if you can't get them touching, you can take a towel and move your hands closer and closer until sometime you can touch. For those that can, clasp your hands and press your arms down towards the mat. And for those that can, go to the next level. You're going to rotate your hands out, lift the arms up and lean forward as you stretch in your shoulders. You wanna go nice and slow, take your time, use your breath, continue to stretch, and very slowly roll back up if you're leaning forward, if not, lower your arms, and relax. Nice, okay, let's let go of our hands and give yourself a nice hug in front to counteract this stretch. Good, let's do it again. Hands behind your back. Remember, just try and touch first would be the first level. If you can touch, roll your hands. If you can roll your hands, see if you can lift your arms. Get them as high as you can, and then lean forward if possible, and continue that stretch, relaxing in your shoulders. Now try and use your breath while you're here, breathing in through your belly. Exhale, tuck that belly button in. Continue to stretch, relax. And as slow as you can, roll up, lowering your hands. And release. Good, give yourself a hug. Help stretch those arms out. Uh, okay, one more time. Hands back behind your back. Deep breath in, 
exhale roll that arm lift up lean forward if you can and continue those arms over relax you might want to turn your head wiggle your shoulders continue the stretch and as slow as you can come on up chin tucked neck and then head comes up nice very good all right the next one we're going to do is the advanced leg stretch so let's get on our sides and i'm going to review how to lie down on your sides support your head either with a pillow or your hand your lower leg is going to be bent top leg is on top you don't want your knee too far forward or behind your leg you want it just balanced half and half my top arm is going to be in front of my chest to help me keep from rolling forward and back. So as we're going to demonstrate this once and then we'll do it all together. You're going to take a deep breath in. As you exhale, you're going to lift your leg as high as you can in this neutral position. You haven't rotated yet at your hip. When you can't go any farther, you're going to push your heel forward, lifting that leg up. And when you can't go any farther forward, you're going to take your hand and gently pull the leg in. And you don't want to strain because then you're going to um, maybe injure yourself. You just want to relax. So while you're there, you're feeling it, you're relaxing, you've gone to an easy breath. When you're done, you're going to release the hand, roll to the neutral position, and go down. You'll find you'll be higher in the neutral position after you've done the stretch. All right, let's try it. All right, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, slowly lift your leg. And it doesn't matter how high it goes, just to where you can feel a nice stretch and you're strengthening at the same time. Roll your heel forward. Now you're going to easy breathing. Bring that leg a little bit higher. And then if you can, hold on to your leg and bring it in. If you can't, you can hold on to your sock or your pants and see if you can get a better stretch. But you don't want to strain, you just want to relax. That's it. Just take your time and then let go gently. You don't want to injure yourself. Roll that leg back and lower. Okay, good. And again, lift up, exhale as you start. Then go to easy breathing. You rotate at your hip. Bring the leg a little higher. Hold on if you can. All right, now while you're doing this, you don't want to roll back or forward on your body, with your body. You want to keep on that nice neutral position so you're not hurting your lower back. Let go of the leg, rotate back, and very gently bring that leg down. Good. You have a couple more of these to do. And lift up, nice and slow. Remember the quality is important. You don't want to go too fast, don't want to injure yourself. Rotate, lift up. Take your hand if you can, because most of the time if you start to pull in, you tighten your muscles. You want to relax, take that breath through your belly. That's it. Exhale, relax. Let go of the leg. Roll, nice and slow, and down, great. And let's do that one more time. Lift the leg up nice and slow as you exhale. Go to easy breathing. Roll at your hip, lift the leg up a little bit higher. Hold on if you can, and gently pull. Take your time, close your eyes, take that breath in. As you exhale, do an inventory, figure out where you're holding your muscles tight and relax them. Just relax. That's it, great. And very slowly let go. Rotate at your hip and lower. Oh, good, all right. Nice, bring both legs up and just relax that leg for a moment. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the other side. So you can take your hand, help push yourself up. Swing the legs over to the other side. And get yourself nice and comfortable. Support your head. Lower legs bent. Top hand is right here next to your chest. All right. And exhale as you lift. Take your time. Take your time. Rotate at your hip, pushing your heel forward. Lift. And if you can, take your hand and help assist. One side might be tighter than the other. That's normal. We just want to even out as much as we can. That's it. Let go of the leg gently. Roll nice and slow. And lower. Nice. Again, exhale as you start the stretch. As high as you can. Then when you can't go any higher, 
rotate, bring that leg in. Support with your hand, maybe bring it in a little farther. Roll back. And down, good. You're gonna do a few more of these. Take your time. Focus in on what we're doing. Lift that leg as you exhale. That's it, good. Then you go to easy breathing, rotate, lift that leg up, there you go. And gently pull that leg in if you can. That's it, release, roll, and back down. We have about two more of these to do to make them even on both sides, so let's do it. Exhale as you lift up, take your time. Rotate through your heel, lift up, that's it, good. Hold on to that leg. Now relax, close your eyes, take that deep breath in through your belly. As you exhale, wherever you're tight, try and relax those muscles. And let go of the leg, rotate it back, straight down. And I think we have one more we get to do. And exhale, lift up, nice. Take your time, feel the stretch and the strength that's going on. Rotate, lift up higher, pull that leg in. Nice. Now take that breath, breathe in. As you exhale, relax the muscles. Maybe you can get a little bit farther forward. And release. Rotate at your hip. And slowly lower. Good. Nice. Bring both legs in and just release tension for a moment. Now the next exercise we're going to do is a front line thigh press up. Lots of words. Let's try it. You're going to roll to your stomach. And we want to put your hands down on the mat, palms flat. I'm pressing with my arms and my shoulders. My forehead and chin will be on the ground. I'm going to take a deep breath in. I'm going to bend one leg. As I exhale, I'm going to lift up just that leg in that bent position. And then very slowly lower. And we're going to do it with our breath. So let's all try it together. All right, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, lift that leg up. Only as high as you can go, and very slowly lower as you breathe in. Lower that leg. We're going to go to the other side. Bend the leg first. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, lift that leg up. And you'll find one side can't go as high as the other. Again, that's all right. Slowly lower as you breathe in. And straighten that leg out. Change legs. Bend. Deep breath in. As you exhale, lift up. And you want to keep your forehead and chin on the ground, supporting with your arms. And back down as you breathe in. Lower the leg. Other leg, bring it up. Breathe in. As you exhale, lift up as high as you can. Breathe in as you lower. Back down. Nice. One more time on both sides. Bend the leg. Breathe in. As you exhale, get that leg up as high as you can. Release. Breathe in. And lower the leg. And other leg. Bend it. Deep breath in. Exhale, lift. Lower as you breathe in and release. Nice. Okay, and let's go slowly back up to our sitting position. Take your time. Okay. Okay, let's align ourselves. Shoulders and hips are in line. Ears right over your shoulder and hips. Okay, we're going to do the scarecrow. Let's put our arms up, shoulder height, palms facing forward. And you don't want to overextend with your arms, you want to just keep them in a nice neutral position. All right, and what I want you to do is just do easy breathing. Try not to hold your breath. Rotate at your shoulders and press your hands down and back. That's it, now relax. I know it's tough because some people have very stiff shoulders and you don't use them or move them enough. Roll the other way. That's it, and change. Let the hands relax and roll them back up. That's it. And one more time. 
Roll down. That's it. Roll down. Great. And relax. Now, anytime you feel your back stiffening while you're doing this, this stretches, if you need to press your back away from you just to release the tension, go right ahead. You've learned quite a few different ones to use to help for that. All right, straddle stretch. Toes out. All right, what you're gonna do is the toes are gonna roll out as we sit up straight. Let's put our hands behind the back, help support. Flat back, deep breath in. Exhale, roll those toes out and down. That's it. Feeling a nice stretch. So the key is take a deep breath in, expand your belly, and as you exhale, keep the stretch going, but release the tension in your legs and see if you can go a little farther. It's hard, but we can do it. Breathe in again through the belly. As you exhale, belly button back. Relax the legs and see if you can go a little farther. Oh yeah, there we go. Excellent. And slowly bring your toes back. Good. All right, if you can, move your leg a little bit farther out. One or both of them, hands behind your back, and let's do it again. Deep breath in. Exhale, roll those toes. Now, if you moved your legs out, you might have to bend your knees slightly to get a good stretch. There you go, keep stretching. Breathe in through the belly. Exhale, tuck the belly button in. Relax those muscles and see if you can go a little farther. That's it, breathe in, good. And exhale, keep relaxing the muscles. And release, great. One more time. Shake your legs out if you need to. If you can, put them a little farther out or scoot your seat forward. Leaning back, deep breath in. Exhale, roll those toes back. That's it, feel a nice stretch in the thigh. All right, deep breath in. Exhale, relax those muscles, you're holding tight, and see if you can go a little farther forward, down. That's it. Keep relaxing, use your breath. Ah, oh, that's good. And release. All right, let's bring our legs together, and we're gonna do a front line single leg lifts. And let's put our heads down this direction. Legs out. Now, we're gonna do the same position we did with our arms for the thigh press up. Hands, palms down, shoulders are down, arms are completely down, and you're gonna keep your head, forehead, and chin on the ground while we do this. You're gonna lift one leg very slowly as you blow up and breathe in as you lower, and we'll alternate legs. All right, let's start. Deep breath in. As you exhale, lift the leg up. Forehead is pressing. Only go as high as you can. You don't want to create too much tension in your lower back. Breathe in as you lower. Take your time. Change legs and exhale as you lift. Nice and slow. Quality is important. And breathe in as you lower. Nice. Change legs. Exhale as you lift. Breathe in as you lower. Change and exhale as you lift. Take your time, take your time. Breathe in as you lower. Now let's say the next few you can't go as high as you were, then at least try to do it, but lift it nice and low. That's all right and lower down, keeping your forehead and chin on the ground, pressing with your arms, other leg up, take your time, relax, and down, and let's do a couple more, exhale, lift up, and down, feel the strength within your leg while you're doing this one. Exhale as you lift, and lower. One more, both sides. Exhale, lift. Think of the strength that you're developing. And down. Last time, last leg. Exhale and lift. And back down, nice. Okay. Let's roll over on a back and stretch our lower back out to counteract what we just did. All right, 
let's bring. First, you start with your knees high, feet flat, then bring your legs in. They're bent, put your hands behind your knees, lower your head, and just pull your legs in slightly to get a nice stretch in your lower back. Easy breathing. And you might want to roll your legs side to side, make them feel, relax that back. Good. Okay, and settle the spine down. Bring your head up towards your knees and feel a nice stretch in your lower back. That's it. Keep breathing. Try not to hold your breath. And lower the head down. Again, breathe in. Exhale, head up. Bring those knees in. Tuck. Now, if you can't keep your knees together while you're stretching like this, if your legs are apart, that's okay. Just as long as you can feel a nice stretch in your back. Lower your chin down, relax. Oh, we're gonna do it one more time. Breathe in, exhale, head up. Stretch that back, bring those legs in as close as you can. That's it, good. And chin down, head down, feet flat. All right, ladies, you get to just rest right there, wait for relaxation. Thank you for being with us today. Now, we have to review the three areas of fitness that would be great if you can incorporate it in your weekly exercise. First, you have the stretching, which you're learning how to do properly. Um, you have strength development, and also you have uh, aerobics. Now, everybody keeps forgetting, which, what, what am I supposed to do? So I have a little scenario. If you're walking up the stairs, you've worked on your strength, the weight training, so you can walk up the stairs. If you've worked on your cardio or the aerobic activity, your heart's gonna be stronger so you can get all the way to the top of the stairs instead of halfway. And when you get to the top of the stairs, your flexibility allow you to bend down and tie your shoe. So those three things, strengthen your legs, your heart to get you up the stairs, and able to bend down at the top to tie your shoe. All right, have a pleasant day and I'll see you next time. This is your time to relax. Take a deep breath in, filling your diaphragm full, fresh air. Expanding that belly as you breathe in. Exhale, tuck the stomach muscles in and underneath your rib cage, pressing all the air out. Continue deep breath in, expanding the belly. Exhale, tucking in and underneath your rib cage. Taking longer and longer to breathe in and out. Start at the top of your head as you breathe in. Start to relax the scalp, the forehead, across the bridge of your nose, your cheeks, your jaw, your neck. Roll your head side to side. Let go of all the tension and stress that you've been holding. Let go and settle your head back down. Deep breath in. Focus on your shoulders, down your arms, to your fingers. Let your fingers wiggle. Rolling the arms side to side. Shoulders going up and down and then let go. Breathe in. Focus on your trunk, your chest, your back, your stomach, your seat. Let go of the tension and stress the pains, let them go. Wiggle a little at your waist, settle the spine down, and relax. Focusing on the front of your legs. Release all the way through your legs, down to your ankles and your toes. Wiggling your toes slightly. Rolling the legs side to side and let go. 
deep breath in from the top of your head. Relax your face, your neck, your arms, your hands, your chest and back, stomach and seat, through your legs, down to your toes. Let go of the stress, the tension. Your breathing is soft. You are relaxed. Picture yourself playing on a hillside, running, gathering flowers. Turning around with circles, your arms are out. You're turning and spinning. And you start to laugh, you start to giggle. Just being free up there, turning and turning. And you slowly get down on the ground and look up. The breeze is keeping you cool. The vibrant flowers the sun, everything seems more intense. Hold that thought as you take a deep breath in and out, relaxed, the top of the world. Deep breath in. Stretch your arms over your head, press through your heels, slowly waking up, opening your eyes, deep breath in, and get ready for the rest of the day.